Before starting the replacement, make sure to turn off the seacock. Then remove the inlet hose. Use a catch basin for any seawater that might leak out. Remove the outlet hose from above the seawater pump. Loosen the clamp and slide it up the hose. It may require a little force to free the outlet hose of the hose barb. Make sure that the oil fill hose is out of the way. Remove the pump with a short extension wrench, short sockets, and a drive ratchet. Both 3 5 inch and 13 mm sockets will be required. To remove the pump, you will remove a total of four bolts. Remove two bolts from the front of the pump. Remove two from the oil filter casting on the back side. Loosen all four bolts enough that the pump can easily be removed by hand. It is not necessary to completely remove the upper back fastener. Loosen it enough to be able to pull the pump off the timing cover. Lay oil absorbent pads down to catch any residual oil that may spill out. Then carefully remove the three bolts by hand Bring the seawater pump from the oil filler casting. Set the bolts aside neatly. The pump will come out with a little easy rocking to disengage the gear teeth. Remove the L-ring from the pump housing. Wrap the gear well in rags to protect it. Clamp into a vise to release the drive gear, removing the nuts to access it. Be certain that you clamp only on the hardened gear. Clamping onto the brass body will produce soft points that can fail. Carefully remove the old gear with jaw type gear puller. Make sure that the gear is clean before inserting into the pump. Install the new gear taper side down on the shaft. Install it dry with no lubricant on the shaft or gear bore. Tighten down the nut, including lock washer, by hand. Finish tightening the nut in the vise using 20 to 21 foot pounds of torque. Be certain that you clamp only on the hardened gear. Clamping onto the brass body will produce soft points that can fail. Replace the O-ring on the pump housing. Use a small amount of silicone dielectric lube to protect it during dry startup. Reinstall the pump with the seawater hose fittings closest to the belt guard. Due to the helical cut of the gear, the pump will not slide directly in, but will go in with gentle pushing and twisting. Hand tighten all four bolts evenly to avoid any undue wear on the gasket. Then tighten the bolts with a 3 8 socket wrench to prevent any possibility of leaking. Tighten the bolts evenly to prevent undue pressure at any one point.
confirm that the seal is tight. We turn inlet and outlet hoses as well as the oil drain hose. Turn the seacock on before starting. Ensure that seawater is flowing when the generator is running. You can check this by touching the pump housing. If it's cold, it means seawater is flowing. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any other service questions, our trained staff is standing by to help. Visit your local Northern Lights dealer or visit us on the web at www.northern-lights.com. Thanks for using Northern Lights.